Alright, if you guys could please turn to 3.2, use parallel lines and transversals. Okay, postulate 15, the corresponding angles postulate. If two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, then the pairs of corresponding angles are congruent. Okay, so basically if you have parallel lines, these corresponding angles, also the other three pairs of corresponding angles are all going to be the same measure. Okay, so for example, uh, I apologize if this is kind of fuzzy. The measure of three of the numbered angles is 125 degrees. Identify the angles, explain your reasoning. Okay, by the corresponding angles postulate, because this angle is 125 and these two angles are parallel, I'm sorry, these two lines are parallel, angle seven also has to be 125 degrees. because those are corresponding angles. Now, if this is 125 degrees, then angle 5, which is a vertical angle with angle 7, also has to be 125 degrees. And because angle 1 and angle 5 are corresponding angles, then these have to be 125 degrees. This is the corresponding angles postulate. Okay, I'll let you guys do this checkpoint problem. Let's go on to page 2. Theorem 3.1. If two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, then the pairs of alternate interior angles are congruent. Now keep in mind, this is only if the lines are parallel. If these lines are not parallel, this is not true. Okay? So angles 4 and 5, also this angle and this angle, that would be congruent. If two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, then the pairs of alternate exterior angles are congruent as well. Okay, so angles 1 and 8, also this angle and this angle. Um, consecutive interior angles, now these angles, you can kind of tell these are not going to be congruent. These angles are going to be supplementary if the lines are parallel. Remember, supplementary means that they add up to 180. All right, so for example, find the value of x. We have this angle, which is 113 degrees, and we have this angle, which is 3x minus 4. Now, lines r and s are parallel. So you can use any of these theorems that we just learned, any of the ones up here, okay? Hopefully you guys can see that this angle and this angle are alternate exterior angles. And as we know, we just learned, alternate exterior angles are going to be congruent when the lines are parallel. So these two angles are equal. Let's see here, I'm going to, this is the alternate exterior angles theorem. I'm going to add 4 to each side, which would make this 117 equals 3x. Now I'm going to divide each side by 3. Should get 39. So the value of x is 39. All right, last page. Oh, sorry, this got cut off. But it should be fine in your notes. Runways. A taxi cab, I'm sorry, a taxiway is being constructed that intersects two parallel runways. All right, so they tell us that these two runways are parallel. You know that the measure of angle 2 draw these a little better. There we go. The measure of angle 2 is 98 degrees. What is the measure of angle 1? Now, hopefully you guys can see that these two angles are alternate interior angles. They're alternate because they're on opposite sides of the transversal and they're in between the parallel lines. Okay? Oops. 
alternate interior angles. So because the runways are parallel, angle 1 and 2 are alternate interior angles. By the alternate exterior, alternate interior angles theorem, angle 1 is congruent to angle 2. By the definition of congruent angles, measure of angle 1 equals the measure of angle 2, which is 98 degrees. Alright, I'll let you guys do the last two checkpoint problems, and that's all for today.